Hi again. I have a little bit more work to do today on uh, my traveler's notebook. And I thought, I'll, since the first episode was only about 20 minutes long, I thought I'll turn on my camera again. And uh, we can play with this a little bit more. So here's the baby. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Now let me explain to you what I did. I put some um, bias tape. I was trying to grab it out of my brain here. And I frayed it and I made it look really really miserable looking and old and uh, I zigzag stitched it and I really like how it turned out. Um, this is just, mm, I'm very happy with it. I have not put the ephemera back in yet because it's just going to make it even, even pudgier. Um, so there's no point. But uh, I want to just do a tiny little bit more playing with it. And, um, yeah, so let's do it. I want my old Distress Ink pad. I think I put it away. Yes, I did. Okay. So I used, just to be on the safe side, I used upholstery thread on, uh, for the five-hole pamphlet stitch. But it's, um... It's sort of a light beige color, and I, it looks much too new for my liking. So I'm using the old one, so it's not as wet. It's slightly dried out, and I'm just going to grime that up a bit so that it's sort of, you're, you're aware that it's there, but it's not, it's not looking fresh as a daisy. Now, I do want to just wipe any possible residual ink off of it. So I'm just going to, yeah, that looks great. I'm happy with that. Now the inside can look new. I don't mind that. Oh my God, I've been getting stuff out to, to decide what I want to do to play with it. The inside, um, you can see that's the color of it. It's just an off white. And I've left these long, I'm trying to decide. I might glue some little, I don't know, something on them. Um, I don't know yet. So and they've still got their numbers so that when I put everything back in, I'll know what I'm doing. <laughs> so what I want to do, I figured since this is an envelope, I'm going to finish making it look like an envelope. So um, I have this stamp that just says carte postale, which actually means postcard. But you know what? It's French and it looks postalish, so I'm going to use it. And uh, I want my brown, I'm going to use this walnut. I'm going to use this walnut here. See if we can get it dark enough. If not, then I'll grab out my, my genuine ink pad. But let's try this and see how we get, what we get. I might be off screen, there we go. Oh, that looks very nice. Okay, I'm happy. Now we're going to make that look old. So, you know me. That just gives me a little kick. <laughs> so I'm going to put there. And put back there. I hope the light's okay. It's getting later. I guess I should be thinking about dinner, but I'm not. Now I want to don't mind me are these the ones I want yes these are mini pinking shears are these the yes mini pinking I just want the ends so there and there that's good put those back my desk is such a mess Yeah, that's old. Oh, here's new. Sponge. So I'm going around the edge first. Make this look kind of grungy. I may still have to trim it. I'm not sure yet. 
because I'm not quite sure where I want to put it. <laughs> now I want to scrunch it up. And then I want to do my little, just let, gently over the top. And that just catches those cre creases. And if you're having trouble, just fold it and, uh, and run your sponge or whatever it is you've, you're using. Just run it along that ridge. Then that looks really great. I really want it to look beat up. Yep, I'm happy. That's pretty. Now, I have, since this is French, I have a stamp from France. So I'm thinking I might put this down here. Hmm. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm wondering if I should try one in red. Just to see if the balance of the two reds, one up here and one down here, I'm just going to play with a red one. Where did I put that? There we go. Why not? Right? I'm such a bad stamper. I learned. Not to stamp anything um, that's actually permanently in the book, or else then that comes in. That brings in your collaging expertise to cover up your poor stamping <laughs> because you've put it onto a permanent page. <laughs> so I've learned now if I'm going to stamp something, I'm better off stamping something loose. Oh, yeah, that's darker. Uh, I'm better off stamping something loose and then putting it into the book rather than um, attempting to stamp it myself. There. I'm, I'm not writing this one off yet, but I'm thinking the red might be nice. And again, just give that little bit of balance to the cover. These are not the best scissors in the world, but they do in a pinch. And I got them on, did I get them on garage sale or thrifty? I can't remember. So they were worth getting. Oh, I didn't set my timer. I'm going to have to keep an eye on my time. And if I get cut off, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, let's just crunch this up. And again, just run our sponge across that. There. Let's do one this way. There, that looks nice. I will be mod podging this because that really, that really, uh, it almost gives it a nice leather appearance, sort of. All right, so I, and I've got this and I think I'm going to have to go soak it. Sometimes you can, if you're really gentle, you can just rip the back off and sometimes they will cooperate. But sometimes you can ruin the stamp. <laughs> Let's see if we can do it. Hold your breath. Ah! It doesn't mean that we're out of the woods yet.
fine. I think we did it. I forget what year this is. I looked it up. Hold on. Let me see. I looked it up. Hold on. Here it is. Issue date. Oh, it won't tell me. <laughs> it wants me to join. Not going to tell me. I know I'm wasting time here, but this sort of thing drives me crazy. And it doesn't say again. They want you to sign in and, and join their page. Oh, well. They'll be far enough away that they don't have to be exact red. So if I put this, hold on, let me make sure. If I put that there, and then I have this one, and then I have this one with a little bit of red. And I thought maybe I'd put it over here. Maybe there, and glue it down. But that might be just, might just be fun. All right, I'm going to I'm going to glue this down with um I think I'm going to use uh Fabertac or 3 in 1 just because that's mod podge and then it's sealed mod podge and for good multi multi surface glue this is the one I trust when I've got so much on here. This is the one I trust. I'm going to stand up. So I want that there. Now I am still, believe it or not, <laughs> believe it, I'm still going to Mod Podge over that so that the finish is still the same as this one. Now let's take a look. There's a little bit of red there. Or do I like this brown? You know what? I think I kind of like the brown. But I want to make it a bit smaller. And I'll have to re-ink that. I'm just going to bash it up with the ink. Hmm. Yes. It gives your eye something to something to look at. I think I want that a little, a little inkier. Because <laughs> the, when I Mod Podge it, that's going to wash the ink around a little bit. So I don't mind being a little heavy handed with it. So we've got it looking like that. Let's do it. And again, I am going to go in with um, three and one. If you've got Fabri-Tac, use it. Or well, use whatever glue you want, actually. I'm not. As to quote Nick, I'm not your mom. <laughs> Although I'm I'm a mom of a lot, <laughs> so maybe I could be. <laughs> I had quite a few busy years there. <laughs> I want this right here. That's where I want that. I don't know. I just like it. So 
so that's what I'm doing because I like it. So it'll be up like this, but I think that kind of looks cool. Now let me make sure that this is really adhered. I'm just going to give that a really good push down. Now I wondered about playing with aging one of these and maybe sticking it on the back with a random number on it. Or maybe I've got some numbers. You know what? Let me look in my little... I'm looking in my little bins. I'm going to bring them over there. Don't worry. I've got these funny little bins. And I've got this one up here. Hold on. It's just me. Look for some, some little, a little something, something. Oh, yeah. yes. All right, so let's move you. I was thinking about, you know, something like this, but I'm not sure. Now, I'm not sure what I've got in here. I got a chicken label from my crush. She sent me chicken labels. These are all just, these are little things that I have every intention to put into a journal and then for whatever reason it doesn't go in. And so I chuck them in here. I've even got, I even save the fortunes from out of Maybe some numbers, like nine, one, that could be a six. Oh, there's a three. Three. That's a zero, that might be cool. Let me move this. Now I have some things in here. The scissors are going to land right in my lap. And I have some numbers here but they've got color not sure i want color yeah i've got some more that are orange no goodness I'm slowly burying myself into my chair salt. Salt. where did it go there. I saw some numbers I thought I saw some numbers oh it was in this tray Oh, they're meat stamps. Oh, I like that. There we go. That's exactly what I was looking for. Oh, there's my hubby. Hold on. Okay, so I talked to hubby. He's on his way. Um, I found all these numbers because I wanted some numbers, and I actually... I, I, I'm going with this. It's an old ticket. So I think Dave sent this to me. And I feel like it just gives a little little hint of a little tiny bit of color. And I want it. <laughs> so that's what I want. And I'm putting it on the cover. So again, I'm going in with, uh, with some Fabri-Tac. Because I'm gluing on top of um the mod podge now i could probably use mod podge again but i just i want to be sure that this is really affixed and i know
that uh, Fabri-Tac will hold that. I just like the way it looks. And it just gives a little something. Your eye goes up there and there um, with these little squirrels that I, I just did a random stitching around. There's the other side of that. And I don't mind it at all. I think that looks kind of cool. Um, all right, so what I'm going to do now <laughs> is try and give myself... I toyed with this book. <laughs> hmm. No. I found that in my bin. And no. All right. Um, paintbrush. Paintbrush and Mod Podge. So I'm just going to do a tiny little spot painting. I actually want a smaller brush. A tiny little spot painting over the stamp. And um, let's use this. And over that little thing that I put on here, the carte postale. So I'm just going to get a little bit. And I'm simply going to just paint... Oh, I'm going to sneeze. I thought I was going to sneeze. Oh, well. I'm just going to paint this. There we go. And then I'm going to do the same with this. Now, this one might get a bit of blending from the, the distress ink. We'll wake up. From that but it'll look cool and then it'll match the shininess of the rest of the cover I'm just going to put a little underneath there because that looked like it was sneaking up oh I really like that hmm now it's still going to be upright like this so it it gives but it gives you something to sort of look at you know I'm going to put I'm going to go underneath that. Crank it down. Because that looks like it's trying to stick up. And then let's see what this one's doing. Boy. Now the only thing that will be left um, will be to put eyelets in and some uh, something to tie it with, ribbon or seam binding or something. Not sure yet. I'm going to look through what I got. There we go. I love it. I love this. I love what it's doing. All right, so um, I know we're only at 23 minutes, but in a way that worked out more today because there's two. So thanks for joining me. I'm, uh, I'm going to go downstairs and take a look at my kitchen because I think it's a mess. <laughs> and I have to cook dinner, so I better go check on it. Thanks for joining me. Hope the rest of your day is great. We'll probably talk tomorrow, and hopefully this will be finished, and we'll do a little flip through. Take care. Bye.